Sometimes we try to create a pivot table and it doesn't work. So uh, if you don't know, in order to create a pivot table, it's very simple, very quickly. You can uh, create a pivot table. All you need to do is select the data. And so what I will do is I will press Control and A. So first I press the Control key, then press A. And this selects the entire data set here. And then I go to click Insert and then Pivot Table. Once I do that, I click OK. And in this sheet, this is another sheet that Excel has created where I can build up my new pivot table. However, let's not go there for now. Let's delete this and go back to some of the problems that we face. So in order for Excel to um, be able to create a pivot table, it needs all the title heads here, okay? So for each of the column, you need to have a title name. So if you, for example, do not have a title and then you select the data and clear create a pivot table it would not work sometimes what happens is that when you get the source file there are some hidden columns uh, so maybe for example there is a column which is empty which does not have a title and then it's also hidden so if if you have something like that you select the entire data you do not find any problem with that data set but there is a hidden column and that you need to unhide and make sure that there is title so if you do not have that, Excel will not be able to create a pivot table. So let's remove this uh, column for now and go back to making our pivot table again. So again, I pressed Control A, this selects the entire data. You can manually select this as well. Go to Insert and then click Pivot Table. Click OK. So now this is your design area where you can build up your pivot table. So when I look at this data set quickly, I want to look at the population by, by country. This is the first thing that comes to my mind. Okay, so when I go back to my pivot table sheet, the first thing I want to do is bring the country into the rows section here. So what I'm going to do is click country, keep holding my left mouse button and drag it down to the rows section. There you go. As you can see, all the countries have been listed in ascending order. Next thing I want to do is I want to see the population. And now population in this case is a value, is a quantity. So I will again select this, click on the population with left mouse button, drag it down to the values. And you can see by country, I can see the population values. Now I can improve the formatting by either selecting one of the population values and right clicking and you know clicking on the number formats or what i prefer doing because it saves time is just select the column and change the number format here so i clicked on the comma separator and then i reduced the decimal digits and this is the population so you can see afghanistan is about 31 million and now what i want to do is look at the population by descending order. So I want to look at the countries with the most population. Just go to data and click on this icon which sorts by descending order or sorts uh, by largest to smallest. And you can see China at 1.3 billion. Yeah, it looks like it's a bit old. It's probably more than that now. And then we have India right about 1.2 billion in population. And then on number three, it's of course US 298 million. Uh, population and then you can see all the countries listed and sorted by the value of population. I also want to look at what is the country with the least population. So I just click the other way around so it's A to Z and you can see the country is listed by ascending order. See how quickly you can play around with the information. Now let's do some some uh, you know more analysis. Let's look go back to the data set and see what else can we do. So there is one thing, this, this thing is population density, you know, population density per square mile, how many people are living per square mile. So let's, for the time being, get rid of the population. So what you can do is just drag and, you know, put it back there and then it, it goes away. You still have the countries there and then you go to population density, click and drag it here and there you go. Again, I want to see the most densely populated countries. Click on sort and we can see the names here. So 16,000 people per square mile. Hmm. And you can go down and again, you can see the least 
densely populated and that's Greenland with zero. Interesting. Now let's let's look at the data again. Let's do some more analysis. Okay, so if I go back, I want to see by area now, right? So let's get rid of population density, click on area, put it back here, and then again sort. And you can see Russia uh, being the largest area, and then number two, Canada, and then, you know, right next to it is United States. So this is the area of the countries. So we can quickly, you know, play with this information. So what I will do now is I'm going to get rid of the country. In fact, let's, let's show you how we can filter on information. So for example, you are only interested in a few countries. So I'm going to select country and put it here in the filter section. Okay, so you are only interested in, let's say, uh, okay, I'm going to random, randomly select a few countries. Let's say you were interested in Afghanistan, Albania, Algeria, and a few more countries. As soon as you do this, the pivot values get updated. So this is showing you the area for these countries. And now if you want to see what countries you have selected, you can always go back to the country, click and drag it down. And you can see by area the countries that you have filtered. So this is this filter functionality is very powerful as well that you should use when you are using a pivot table. Okay, so let's get rid of this again. There's one more interesting thing I wanted to show you, which is the region. So they have uh, provided us the region in the data set. I'm going to click and drag the region now to the rows section. And we have the area. Let's get rid of the area again and bring back the population, okay? So here you can see again that this is Asia, excluding Near East. I don't know what that means, but it has a population of about 3.7 billion. And again, we can sort by descending order, and we can see the Asia being the most populated region or continent, and then we have Sub-Saharan Africa. And again, this shows us uh, very useful information uh, that we needed. But what about if we want to see more information within this pivot? So far we have been dealing with only two columns, right? So let's bring in some more information. I want to see which countries belong to each of these regions. So simply select country, drag it down to the rows. Okay, so oh, it's still maintaining our filter. See, we, we did not remove the filter. So what we are going to do is bring country back to this filter and then select all, okay. And now, again, I'm gonna drag and bring the country back to the next to region. And now this shows us by region, the countries that are involved. Now you may not like this format, you want, may want to change this format. So some of the things that you can do is go to the design and there is a report layout icon. You can change it to tabular form and now it gives you by, uh, it, you know, it adds another column and you can look at this information by column. And it is right now showing you subtotals. If you want to remove subtotals, you can click on subtotals and do not show subtotals. You can do that as well. So this is now by, uh, by a region. And again, if you want to sort within the regions, you can click on data and click descending. So now you see it has sorted the population for each region by descending order. Extremely useful, extremely useful. So this is some of the ways I like to play with pivot. One thing we have not used so far is the column section. And let's do that now. Let's just move this region to columns. See, so now if you wanna look at some information in the columnar form, you can just click and drag it to the columns uh, in the pivot table building section. And here you can see again, for example, uh, these are the countries uh, with their population. This is the grand total again sorted. So you can see, you know, you can make a horizontal comparison and see uh, these two countries from Asia are the most populated countries. And then the third one is, of course, in North America. Fourth one again, Indonesia is in Asia and then Brazil and Latin America. So again, extremely useful information. 
And one last piece I want to share with you, which is again very, very useful. Let's get rid of the countries and bring the regions back here in the columnar form. If you want to see the, all the details, not just few details, but if you want to see everything that is there in your source data, but for a certain selection, for example, you are looking at this information and you are in, interested to see what is included in the Near East. So you just double click on the value. As soon as you double click, Excel creates a new sheet where you can see all the details. So you can see it is arranged in the same manner as the original data sheet, but you have only those selected records that you just double clicked on. So Near East represents these countries. These are their individual populations, area, density, and so forth. So that's it for now for pivot tables. Hope you like this information. Please click like on this video and subscribe to my channel and leave your comments and let me know if there's something else you want to know, you want to understand about pivot tables. That's it. Thank you very much.